Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary is attempting to restore 1,000 acres of the wet prairie ecosystem over the next five years. The wet prairie, it's one of the wetland types that's really decreasing with uh, development here in southwest Florida. It's very important habitat late in the wet season and early in the dry season, so particularly from you know, November, December, January, that time of year, this is what wildlife are using. This habitat is filled with water and fish, and it's a really important base of the food chain here. The Marsh Prairie Restoration Project has three major steps. The removal and maintenance of nuisance species like the Carolina willow, the utilization of prescribed fires, and human connection. You know, within months of removing that willow, we've seen um, things like black-bellied whistling ducks move into the habitat, roseate spoonbills, all the wading birds come in, and you know it creates open space that when that area starts to dry down, deer and panthers and other wildlife come and use that habitat. So we're already seeing very quick success. Corkscrew also uses prescribed fires to maintain native plant communities, and each habitat has its own cycle of when it should be burned. The prescribed fires help the regular burn cycle and decrease the intensity of naturally occurring wildfires. Throughout southwest Florida, we have seen more wildfire suppression with increased population. Uh, if we were to not control the burn cycles, we would see wildfires get into places like our old growth bald cypress. Because of the soils um, and the accessibility, if wildfire were to get in there, there's no way to put it out. We would just have to let it burn. So fire has a potential to completely devastate this, this area. Human connection is the most ongoing way that Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary is working toward the 1,000 acre restoration. Because people, if, if something doesn't really affect them, they don't seem to care about it. Um, when they see a direct impact, that human connection, that's where we kind of can get things done, you know? So trying to connect people to nature it, it, it makes a difference. It, they want to help. They want to do something. With children, the thing is, they're just being exposed to it. So we want them to learn at an early age to really care and appreciate the environment um, so that they grow up. It's not just something they do because they're told to. It's, it's, a, it's a lifestyle.